WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming live from the shores of Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update. Currently, we've got a mixed bag out here. You've got the Russell 2000 off 11 and the uh, Dow transports are down 33. Otherwise, all the other U.S. indices trade into the upside. The Dow's up 145, S&P 23, NASDAQ 129. That's four tenths, six tenths, and nine tenths percent to the upside. Semis are up nine tenths. That's 27 points as well. Let's go look at our nine panel market update charts. We begin by looking at the ES Mini. ES Mini trading right in the resistance level of the top of its weekly profile. That number is 42.38. We're trading at 42.41. Now, a close above 42. Uh, 42, where am I? Where am I? 42.38 suggests, well, actually, at that stage here, the ES Mini would be above all of its profile levels, uh, and that would suggest a uh, breakout mode to the upside. I would, I would confirm that, or the message that that would be confirmed would really come from the spot volatilities. And if it did close today below 16.20, 16.20 is the low from the trading day of April the 9th. That was bar number eight of a TD9 count. That identified the TD9 count threshold level. We can see price did not close below that, tested it numerous times, but it closed below 16.20 today. That would then say, okay, the ES Mini getting ready to head higher. The NQ is above the top of its daily and weekly profile. This is suggesting to us that it's headed back to its all-time high. The U.S. dollar index, uh, not really doing much. In order for it to do much, it would need to close above 90.54. That would suggest a change in trend and a move to the upside. Gold just consolidates with inside its daily profile, support at the 1860 level, and resistance 1909. The case is silver, the same thing, support 2699 and resistance 2826. Lights we crude attempting to form a new profile today. Now, this will not be confirmed until this evening. However, at 102 in the afternoon, we know there's resistance at 7023 and support port at 68.11. As far as natural gas, natural gas is uh, testing or getting back to the swing point high back here from May 17th. That's at 3.204. Close above that would definitely suggest higher price. And a 30-year treasury testing the resistance area. That was the spike high that came on May 7th. And that price point, 160 and 15, 30 seconds. Folks, Stay tuned for the Trader's Edge Show. But if you have to start your Thursday, we'll have a thirsty one. And we'll look forward to seeing you soon. Take care. We'll be back in just a few.